Hey guys, it's Miss Blair here. Um, we've been talking about solving systems of equations, and we use substitution, which is where, remember, it was like we were in a ball game, and when we substitute players in, whoever we're substituting in for, um, that player's got to come out because they've got to disappear. And then for elimination, remember, we're eliminating things. That means we are getting rid of them. Um, elimination is like exterminate or erase. Um, if an exterminator comes to your house, they get rid of all the bugs, right? Or if you make a mistake, you want to erase it so it's not there anymore. So elimination, we're getting rid of something. So look at it number one on your paper. Um, this is a picture of your graphic organizer. And um, on number one on your paper, we had, um, it was negative 2x minus 2y equals 18 and 6x minus 6y equals negative 18. And this is number one. All right. So looking at this, these aren't quite as easy as what we've been doing. Before our equations were already set up for us, it was really easy for us to straight up add or we just had to multiply by negative one to change the signs so that we would have opposite signs so a variable would eliminate. But looking at this problem right here, nothing is automatically eliminating. It's not as easy as just changing a sign. So if I look, I want to choose which variable I want to eliminate, x or y. It really does not matter which one I choose. On this one, I'm going to choose x because I can. So I got a negative 2x and a 6x. Well, they already have opposite signs, so I'm, I'm doing pretty good. But either the 2 has to become a 6 or the 6 has to become a 2. I'm going to choose to make the 2 a 6. So I'm thinking, what factors can I multiply this negative 2 by in order to give me a negative 6? If you said 3, it's a good answer. All right, so I'm going to take three, take this 3, and I'm going to multiply it by everything in this equation right here, the top one. So I multiply the first equation by a positive 3, and I get negative 6x minus 6y equals a positive 54. And I didn't change anything in the bottom one, so I'm not going to actually use the multiply by the second the multiply the second one by anything. So it's going to be 6x minus 6y equals negative 18. Okay, again, all I did was I took that 3 and I multiplied everybody in that first equation by 3 because I needed somebody, um, I needed a number that would allow me to cancel out those x's to eliminate them. So I'm going to rewrite my problem now here. I got negative 6x minus 6y equals 54. And I've got 6x minus 6y equals negative 18. All right, and this is for me to add. So I'm going to add these guys up, negative 6x, and this is a positive 6x, so when I add those, they're gone. And then I get negative 6y minus 6y. Now that doesn't become zero. Remember that. Remember you're adding and keeping that sign, so you get negative 12y. And 54 minus 18 will give you 36. So if we keep this going, you guys know how to solve at this point. So negative 12y equals 36. We're going to divide by negative 12 those guys cancel. We got y equals, that looks about like negative 3 to me. What do you guys think? All right, so we got y. But are we finished? We definitely are not. Okay, because we still have to find x, right? So now I'm going back to one of my original equations up here. I can do the top one. I can do the bottom one. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to do the bottom one just because we haven't used him very much. So write them down, 6x minus 6y equals negative 18. And we're going to substitute that negative 3 that we found for y in right here. Okay, so make sure you're substituting that negative 3 in. So once we do that, you're going to get something like 6x minus 6 times negative 3 equals negative 18. All right, 6, I need to use a different color. All right, we got 6x plus 18 equals negative 18. Oh, um, hmm, what do we do now? I'd say subtract 18, yes. So we're subtracting 18 from both sides. 
you get 6x equals negative 36. Very good. And now to find x, you're right, we just divide. Okay. So x is going to equal negative 6. Now remember, we aren't finished. Um, we need our final answer, and it has to be written as a ordered pair. Very good. Okay, so ordered pair. Let's get one written down. Um, X comes first, Y comes second. Remember that. Um, so if we're going to do that and write our ordered pair, our ordered pair looks something like negative 6, negative 3. Because the Y value we found was negative 3, and the x value we found was negative 6. Okay, guys, we need to practice.